Okay, good. So let me emphasize some more information about WebAssign. So here's your, uh, and I want to tell you these dates may change, but we'll see about that. So notice I give you a, a practice test, which you do over and over. Then you'll have a test, which will be exactly like the practice test, but there are large randomized databases in these tests. So uh, that's why you I give you this to practice as much 30 times. If you want more, we'll do that. Okay, so uh, so again, you got to pay attention to these due dates. Here the practice, I give you a practice test, and it has a large randomized database. And here's the first test. Uh, please don't work on that yet. I gotta readjust some dates. Okay, so let's go through. So here are your grades. You'll be able to see your grade. You can click on raw scores. Uh, right now, here are the categories. So what will count for grades? Homework, test, and lab. Right now, uh, 213, I was pretty close on that. Homework points only count as a percentage. Okay, so that's grades. Uh, communication will bring up if we have a class forum. And I'll set that up. And here's your calendar. Where you can see when all of the assignments are due. Okay, any questions about WebAssign? Will our grades here be able to be seen in Blackboard? Your grade will show up in WebAssign, and I'll have to show the only grade that shows up in Blackboard is the guided notes turn in. So your primary grade will be shown in WebAssign. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. More questions? Anybody there? Any questions? I have a question. Sure. Um, so I know the guided notes practice and both the web assigned homeworks are both important, but if you would say there's a priority of one over the other, which one would you say comes to priority? Both are a priority because the guided notes are really help you study and they count for a test grade with the homework and web assigned. So I expect you to do all of this. I'm not going to rank anything, but I'm giving you the test and I'm letting you practice before you take it. Okay, thank you. Please ask again if I didn't. If I didn't explain that well enough, just keep asking if you want. I have a question. So yes. the, the calendar that's on WebAssign, um, it says the due dates for the assignments only for WebAssign or is it? Yeah, for only for WebAssign. Okay. The, the other due dates are here. Let's go back to uh, guided notes turn in. The only thing you have to turn in are these, and here's the due dates here. So the only thing you turn in on Blackboard is this guided notes turn in. Thank you. Any other questions? I have another question. So, sure. pretty, mu so pretty much for each lecture, are we going to have a guided note and a web assign for each for each yes. lecture. Yes. Yes. But make sure you start working on the refresher modules. The refresher modules are there because uh, you guys didn't take the assessment test. So Can let's talk about what homework again? is again. Mm -hmm. So if we go to roster view, uh, calendars. Okay, we go back to home. 
and this class and here are the two dates for WebAssign so those are the only two dates in WebAssign if we go to Blackboard the only due dates are for the guided notes right here. Can you go oh. over what the refresher modules are? Sure. The refresher modules are here because uh, students, you guys, because of the online and, and because of COVID, you didn't take the assessment tests. So, uh, for the first three weeks of the course, you have to get through these presentations and uh, complete the quizzes for each one. And if you go back to the class schedule here, you go back to here and course schedule and instructor list. and me right here so notice this right here okay so Here's what it says. Due to COVID, the AMP assessment test has been suspended. Previously, before COVID, you had to pass this assessment test in order to register for 2401. And, uh, but now you have to complete the refresher modules. So notice it was stated right here as big as day. So let's explain them some more. So if we go back to the refresher modules, you just have to click here, level as organization. Uh, you can study this PowerPoint. You can study this from the Amoeba Sisters. And uh, all of these are not working. Then you take the quiz. So just what we talked about today, the levels of organization. Uh, that's all we talked about. So you have to complete these refresher modules. Then you turn in the guided notes after you've studied the modules. And here are the guided notes, which you download as a, as a Word file and type in the answers and save the file and upload it by guided notes turn in questions okay let's go back to there let's turn this one off stop recording stop recording